guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're diving back into some more Better Minecraft Plus. Man, oh man, you gotta love this thing. This is my favorite pet by far. Ah, oh, what a champ. <laughs> the mean green mother from out of space. Oh my goodness, I love that thing. Anyways, um, enough of that. Uh, we need to go fight some dragons today. Yes, we are gonna be dragon hunting today because I think I, I wanna go after the dragon armor. The dragon steel armor is something that is definitely going to be challenging to get. Um, but it's something that we should be able to strive for in this pack as a goal. It definitely should be a high-end goal for us. So, taking a look at this, it, it, it's been a while since I've made a dragon forge, um, but I don't remember it being specific to a lightning dragon or a fire dragon or an ice dragon. So that, that has me a little thrown off. Um, I'm wondering, do I need specifically a fire dragon or an, uh, like a, a lightning dragon forge for the lightning steel and to use a lightning dragon? If so, that may be a little bit more difficult, but we're if we're if we're going to go after lightning dragons, we're going to go after them, right? So, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go after some dragons. If anything, I do have an emerald dragon which if I remember correctly is a fire dragon. Um so we can always, you know, you know, bring to life that that emerald fire dragon and use it for a fire forge as well. Um, and hopefully after today, we also get, you know, an ice dragon egg. That'd be kind of nice. So what do we need to do? Well, I think the, our best bet is going to be to use our spectral eye thing. Um, let's see. To use this. Because um, we can actually see the dragons that are pretty low underground. And I think our best bet is just going to be to mine underground. You know, just to to take ourselves underground and awaken those particular dragons and fight them. That's, I mean, that's going to be our best bet, 100%. Um, the problem is, is finding them, but I, I think if we stay around the ocean level, yeah, we should have a pretty decent chance of seeing them around here. Now, I don't know if I can uh, awaken this particular dragon um, by using this. Like, if I close this, I don't need that open. If I use our other charm here, keep opening the book. Why is the book? There we go. Um, if I put this charm on, I have the chance of this dragon being affected by it. Or not. Definitely don't want to fight this dragon at night, but if, if we have no other choice. I guess it's because it removes, when we have that on, it removes our spectral sight. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and mine all the way down here. And we're fighting this dragon, one way or another. Um, let's get a apple. Make sure we have some pretty decent food in our inventory. Be pretty nice to have. Although I also have an ice dragon heart that we got last stream, or last uh, last episode. Oh, I need my backpack. <laughs> I cannot lose that. Okay, so I think we're just about ready, right? I have food in my backpack, uh, plenty of good food. I'm going to actually move this over, this over. Plenty of great food in there. Um, golden apples. Probably shove those in the bag too. Just make up for everything. And that should be good. And our sword, hopefully we can do... Oh, this is an ice one. Hopefully we can do enough damage to this guy. And even keep it down here. If we can keep it down underground, that would be so much better. Yeah, as you can see, keeping it underground. Our armor is doing a fantastic job, by the way. I am frozen. This That's the only problem with the ice dragons is they give you that frozen effect. Is it literally just destroying all the chests? It is. But as you can see, fighting dragons today, I don't think it's going to be a pretty big deal. Oh man, I hate that I can't I can't move. Come on now. Okay. 
Oh, it's got me. But we're going to be able to destroy it. There we go. So yeah, this is going to be one of many uh, dragons that we fight. I just, I, I, I don't know if we need to fight particular dragons. That's the only, uh, the only downside. And just like that, this dragon is Gonzo. 100% Gonzo. Um, and we have so much stuff on us. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. So there is a heart. I wonder if that was still in our inventory from before. Okay. So uh, skinning this, like, should I do that? I think we should skin this. Now I'm going to try. I don't know if having looting in your offhand matters, but I'm going to, I'm going to get the dragon skin. Oh, it was a T it was a female dragon as well. So we ended up getting a white dragon egg. And that was a tier four dragon. So I'm going to be on the hunt for tier five dragons. However, as you can see right there, was it super lucky? Uh, I guess we'll have to find a really large dragon or something that looks like it. But I think the best way to go about doing this is definitely to look for them in the ocean. So this just got a little interesting. Look right here. Look what I have managed to find. This right here is a Hydra. Now, uh, the best way to fight this thing, and I think the only way to kill it, is to use a fire sword. Now, I think I, I need to try and capture this thing. If I can't, oh, I can't. Okay, so it's giving me poison. It's giving me some nasty effects. Um, I might be able to put this on instead to negate some of that. But this thing right here, um, the only way to kill it is to use a fire aspect sword normally. But if it's not on land, it's going to be pretty hard. It is going to be pretty hard and it, it will keep growing heads. Oh, no. There's no way for us to get this thing on land. It Because it was placed in this weird spot, it's going to be almost impossible to kill it. Oh, maybe not. We're, we're getting it down. There we go. Okay, we will kill it. Let me see if I can switch over to my sword that has all the effects on it. You're supposed to be only able to kill it, I believe, with fire aspect, but... Hey! And we end up getting the legendary weapon when in the hot bar. It, oh my god, gives increased regeneration based on how injured the holder is. So, we... <laughs> That was a gas noise. We just, we just basically found another crazy legendary weapon that you get from this thing. That's insane. Okay. Um, well, back to dragon hunting, I guess. Now this dragon right here. Oh yeah, this is a, this is definitely a tier five. Hundred percent. That's got to be a tier five dragon. It's huge. Now this dragon right here. I can't tell. I, I always have a hard time determining what's a female and what's a male. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tier 5, 100%. This one's rocking 500 health. But we should be able to get it down quickly. Almost wondering if, like, that shuriken from early would work. If I can get... I wish I could get critical hits, but just it's not happening. Ah. Oh, it's got me. Can't really do much with it either. The tier fives are a little bit more difficult because I, I just can't hit that sweet spot, basically. I also can't fly in here. That's another thing. <laughs> Look at all my statuses on the right hand side. Whoa. There's just so much going on. Fighting the dragons. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm kind of excited, though, to get the dragon forge up. That's going to be. That's going to be fun. All right. We've almost got this tier five dragon completely wrecked. If it stays right here, it's it's gone, though. All right. Are we about to destroy this thing? Oh, almost. I don't want it to get out of here because then it'll start to flood the area because we're still under the ocean. And oh, it's dead. It's all. Oh, yeah, it's completely dead. Wow. We might be actually making ice armor at the rate we're going. If we only have ice dragons, yeah, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be taking on the ice version. And since we already have most of it done, I think that's gonna be the way to go. 
let's actually grab some bottles. And, uh, because I actually need to, to drain some of this out of here. Actually, we'll probably just drain the whole dragon. Yeah. So, this right here is how we're actually going to make the dragon steel. And so, we need quite a bit of it. Uh, because each iron, if we're going to be making the ice version, we need this. So, we're not only going to need the armor, but we're also going to need a lot of the blood from the dragons. And so, as you can tell, it's a little bit of a grind to get there, but we should be able to do it. I think even the next dragon, I'm going to probably just use the bottles on it. So, I ended up finding another crack, and this one I'm actually going to kill with the appropriate sword. Oh, it's still going to take a little bit of time, but I am going to kill it with the appropriate sword this time. And just like that, it is dead. You guys said that there, there's usually some loot inside the ship and stuff that's down here. I'm sure that there's plenty of loot down here. It's just like getting to it because it's underwater is kind of kind of be kind of a pain. Ah, ooh, there's a glow from supplementaries. <laughs> I'll actually take that. But yeah, as far as the loot that it actually drops, because we don't actually have water breathing. What did it drop? It dropped a Kraken tentacle, which can be cooked for food. What else? I guess that's it. It's all it dropped. Huh. Yes, this is perfect because all of these dragons we are finding, and I believe this is a female. This is another ice dragon, and I think this is a tier five. Oh, we, we've got this. We've got, this is an ice dragon battle. Uh, you know what? I'm so happy we're finding ice dragons because this is exactly what we need. At least a single type. It doesn't really matter if we were to go uh, lightning or ice. The ice is going to be kind of a whitish armor, which is... I. I actually prefer. Let's start this battle. Awaken dragon, you fiend. Don't fly away. You stay here. Hey, hey, let me go. It's kind of quiet as a battle, honestly. You would think there'd be a lot more dragon noise, but I guess they're fairly turned down. Yeah, let's get this one killed. I can tell you what, dragons, man, at least the ice dragons, they're definitely a bit tougher as far as dragons go, because they pin you down basically and lock you and prevent you from flying. So I can't fly while I'm fighting these things. Pretty difficult, um, but I think it's gonna be worth it in the long run. I tell you what, <laughs> and just like that, another, I believe tier five ice dragon killed. Oh yeah, we're just destroying dragons today. So I'm almost positive this works. If I put this here, I have that looting I got two white dragon eggs off the same dragon, off this dragon alone, and look how much scales I got from it. So I think putting your looting sword in your offhand actually works because it, it gave me two dragon eggs. That's insane. So if I remember correctly, I think we surround it with ice. I don't know if it has to be surrounded with ice, but this has to be, ah, yeah, a bucket of water in the middle. And this right here, you see the eggs rocking, you know that it's working. And uh, because we're in a cold biome, it freezes the water here. So... With that, all we gotta do is let this beautiful dragon grow up to be big and strong. And, uh, well, <laughs> we're gonna use it for the ice forge. So let's go ahead and get that forge made. So if you're taking a look at the recipes and stuff that we are going to need, um, I believe we need about 10 more dragon forge bricks. I think you need like a total of 25 or something like that um, to, to also craft the, the heart as well because we need this dragon forge ice core. Um, we can actually go ahead and make the ice core. Let's go ahead and do that. We still need 10 more, which is going to leave us with 17, I believe. Dragon, we need the scales. Let's go ahead and make as many of those as we can. Also, go ahead and make as many of the blue as I can, because that's all of the, I believe, all of the uh, the icy dragon scales we have. We also have a few blocks here. And let's try to make as many of these as we can, because I need 10 more. That was four. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Come on. Come on. Nope. I don't need to do that. Ten. Okay, that is... That's plenty. Woo! I was hoping we were going to have enough. Okay. So... Let's grab all these out. Perfect. Now I need to figure out where to put this. Um, Where, were, where are we actually going to build this thing? Because we now have the forge ready to go. And we should have... This, look at the little guy. Oh, goodness. Oh, we need a dragon horn. I think it's called a horn. 
Nope, it's not going to be called a horn. It's uh, ice and fire dragon horn. There we go. We need this to pick you up. Oh, you're so adorable, though. Oh, goodness. So, yeah, I'm going to grab this. We are going to be making this thing a lot larger soon. But where shall I put it? I think we're going to clear off the roof here. And this bad boy is going to go up top. Plus, it's nice and wintry up here. So let's have fun and build the Dragon Forge. All right. So uh, basically, the Dragon Forge works a little bit like this. Um, we're going to have a bone block here, here, and here. And we're going to repeat this pattern on the top as well. The bottom section is going to be like this. In the middle, we are going to have the Dragon Forge core. And then the uh, the aperture is wherever you want your dragon to be setting to be blowing into this. And I think I'm going to put mine right here. Then we surround this entire thing in the middle with the dragon blocks. And like I said, we repeat that pattern from the bottom on the top. And that creates the multi-block. Voila. We have an ice, a dragon forge ice core. Look at that. You can see the little icon here. Now, all we have to do basically is get our dragon close to this and it will start firing off onto this thing. Um, and it goes crazy. Like, it loves it, and it will stand here, and it will forge what we put in here. So we are going to be basically making ice steel, which is uh, just as powerful as everything else. I think it gives us resistance to fire and stuff like that, though, like fire dragons, which is crazy. Um, so let's head back underground and uh, I have some cows to kill and some feed to make because we have to get this dragon to at least, I believe, level three before it can actually start being used. So I went ahead and made up a bit of the dragon mill with all the materials that we have in our inventory. And this is where it's going to be a little tricky because we have to do this without it going under our shoulders. You can see it's going to start getting bigger and bigger. As you can see, it's going to keep increasing the days on it. Which is exactly what we want. Eventually it will get big enough where we won't have to worry about the size. Like us picking it up. Alright, so we just seen the particle effects. I believe that means it is now stage 2. Let's get this bad boy to a stage 3. Oh boy. <laughs> this is crazy. We are about to make some really powerful gear. Like really powerful armor. I believe it's stage three. We can now officially ride this thing. And I think that's all we need. I'm going to save the rest of this because I think that's all you need is to get it to this stage. Look how pretty this is. I like the white dragon. And I believe it's a she based on the horns. Am I right? Yeah, gender female based on the way the horns are. I think I've kind of figured it out. They have this like nose horn here. And I know on the males, the, the horns are a lot uh, further out. They stick out a lot. And I think the tail is even different on the males compared to the females. Um, kind of an interesting design choice. Very, very cool. This dragon is 100%, I believe, ready to go. The only thing it doesn't have is armor on itself. But, I mean, we're fine. Iron, let's get our dragon. Uh, I think it's called blood. Dragon blood. We have 33 of them. And then iron. Basically, we just throw those inside the forge and we just let it rip. I, You're about to see how awesome this is. So let's head home. And I mean, should we do do it justice by riding, flying it up there? We should definitely fly it up there. You know what? Hold on. I need to change some settings real quick because I almost forgot I had actually changed. Wow, that's fast. I had actually changed some, the uh, the setting to go down. Let's see. So I think right here is where it needs to be. And then I just put the materials in and it will start working. Look how awesome that is. And we can actually watch the, uh, the progress go. Oh, it actually starts to change the land around it. That's super wicked. I mean, just take a look at this. 27 we have built up in here. Ah, uh, Forge the Flame was our advancement that we have completed. Surprise that uh, there's nothing in here that uh, gives you a reward for that. It's a pretty big achievement to actually undergo. Um, so, I guess our big reward, though, 
is some beautiful armor. Are you ready for this? Oh boy. There's that. And I think this is like, this is a very good looking armor set. What's crazy though, is the dragon set for this is insane, right? To, to actually craft, because it requires blocks of this stuff. Um, so to protect your dragon, I guess you have to go through some hoops. There we go. Look at this full armor set. Let's throw this on. I know the armor we have on is nice, but this has such a cool model for the head and stuff. Why doesn't all armor do cool things like this? I mean, look, oh my God, it's so cool. Oh, I love this armor. We have like a face like shield. We're like Bane up in here. I bet we talk like this with the mouth cover on it. Like, it's, we gotta sound like this. Imagine talking to your buddy that was right next to you. It's just not gonna happen, all right? It's just not, it's not gonna happen. Wow, awesome. And our armor, like just look at this bar, right? We're gonna swap this out and put this on. Look at the armor bar. You can just tell already this thing is insane on the stats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you thought this armor was good. This armor is even better without enchants. Like, you don't even have to enchant this stuff. You know it's going to be good. Now, it enchanted, of course, is a thing that we can do. I don't even know if I'm going to worry about enchanting it. <laughs> oh, it's just beautiful. Now, there's a couple of things we can make. There is a sword that we can make. I do have more iron being worked up right now. Um, but we can make a sword or we can make a battle axe out of this. Now... This dragon steel axe does 30 damage, but of course it's going to be pretty slow to draw back. I still think the sword is going to be the best. The sword also freezes targets, right? Oh my gosh, just thinking about that. It's... Oh man. Yep, okay. So here we go. Draconic evil... Oh my gosh. The... <laughs> Draconic evolution. I love this. I love that reference. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look how long the sword is. All right, Chosen. It's not about how long the sword is. It's about how you use it. All right. So what is going to be the first thing that we use this on? I don't know. We should probably take our lightning dragon and go find out why our other dragon is working. We can always summon our lightning dragon. Take it for a ride. Up you go. Oh man, this is so cool looking. And we need to find something to target. Now, if you hit R with this thing, it shoots out lightning, but it also will shoot a ball of lightning. I don't know if you've seen that ball of lightning that it spit out of its mouth. It, it explodes stuff. So after a minute or so, or a second, it should shoot a fireball and boom, it's like TNT. Oh my gosh. All right, let's land down here. I know you guys are tired of me saying we are powerful, but we are incredibly powerful. We are. We're incredibly tough. Beyond tough. Come at me, soldiers. Come at me, Iron Golem of nothingness. Look how look how useless you guys are. Get one shot. Oh, you got a shield. Get one shot. Yeah, most things are gonna go down incredible. We just we've become incredibly evil. So evil that we're destroying villages now. <sighs> yep. <laughs> Mutiny on the village. <laughs> Let's kill them all. Alright, we I think that's enough enough destruction for now. Nope, maybe one more. Oh. Let's hop back on Toothless and go for a ride. I love how our other dragon just isn't even named. It's just, it's, it's yeah. We're an ice-wearing armored person flying around on an electric dragon. Uh, it doesn't get any more boss than that. Like, this is... How epic are we right now? Like, beyond... Beyond epic... Look at our dragon just doing his thing down there. So cool. Just so you can see this, I, it's a stage four dragon. I went ahead and fed it the rest of the food I have. And our tier three dragon is now a stage four dragon. And just 
I mean, look at the sheer statue. Now, the funny thing is, is once you have a tier four and up dragon, it can do the same thing that other dragons can do that you fight that are that level. Break blocks. It can literally destroy the ground while walking. Just take a look, watch. It just doesn't matter. We just completely destroy anything we walk into. Yep, annihilation of all these blocks. I don't know if you pick up the blocks. Are we picking up the oak logs? Almost kind of looks like we are. But yeah, just walk through a forest. You can collect all your resources. <laughs> At least you get a little bit of them. So it has been an awesome, awesome day. I am super excited that we got this dragon armor. We're basically near invincible. I mean, I think that, that this point is where you become like, in, like literally invincible. So there's only a few things left for me to do, and that is to explore some really interesting builds. There's some things that we haven't even seen yet, and I'm kind of wanting to just explore a little bit more into this pack. But I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, and that is going to go to The Fish 56. Thank you so much for your amazing support. And guys, if you are interested, of course, in becoming a Patreon yourself, you can find that link down in the description below. It is one of the best ways to support me. Also, you can check me out over on twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect, or you can find all those beautiful links down in the description below. There's some awesome stuff and even a surprise link down there. If you've never heard of Humble Bundle, it's absolutely amazing. And I would recommend checking it out. And if you do use that link down there. But anyways, guys, I thank you so much for watching the videos. If you did enjoy, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a huge thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.